You know what? It's that time of the season. You know what we need up in here? We need some Christmas lights. Yeah, look at that. Christmas color lights. Perfect. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have test accounts in the game, finally. Pretty much most of your content creators are going to be getting these test accounts, and what is going to happen with these accounts is that we have pretty much infinite resources. Uh, you can see up here in the corner, one billion, I think that's billion, uh, no, sorry, one million energy, over a billion gold, and ten million drag coins to start out. We have all these missions we can do. We have these offers up over here, which is really, really weird, because we don't really need them, you guys will see. But what these test accounts do is they function as a way for your content creators and other players to test things out. Not so much a beta test, just like an early access that's allowed the land people to get their hands on and really be able to start create ideas with it and, you know, helping people create content, other things like that. That is what test accounts function as. This is not a beta test thing. That's completely different. So what I'm going to be able to do with this test account is basically take any character in the game that we have minus the legendaries we don't have so far. So like buff, more doom, uh, Shinri, any of the legendary characters that haven't had events come out yet. I cannot do any testing with them. But for every other character currently in the game, I'm able to take them to seven stars right away. I have 330 shards of everybody. And then with the drag coins and the gold and everything, I'm able to level characters up to whatever I want to take them to. I can take them to gear 11 right away if I want to. And then basically just pick and choose who I want to upgrade. And this is going to be very fun because this is going to be something that's going to be very interactive with the community as well as our viewers. Because if this is a live stream kind of thing, you guys can see here um, 1 million ability scrolls on everybody, which is just absolutely absurd. I mean, look at that. 999,999 ability scrolls. I'm pretty much going to be able to level up any abilities that I want to. I've got all the resources to do whatever I please with this account. And this is going to be very fun for live streaming and everything else. I'm very excited to be doing this with live streams because what we can do as a community then is take these teams into arena, test things out, see what we want to do, see what works, see what doesn't work, and basically just experiment as a community. And that is going to be super, super fun. And I'm very excited for that. I cannot wait to see what we do with that. So this is going to be a very, very big opportunity for a lot of people, not just for the content creators, but for the community, because they're going to be able to get sort of a good like look behind the curtain at these characters and see what is going to work without them having to invest their own resources in to these characters. So with these crunches on gold, ability scrolls, train tomes, what have you, and gear and everything, you can then go to the content creators, see what they're doing with their test accounts. So this is going to be very, this is, I, I'm just excited. I'm very excited for this. This is something that uh, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes has done and, and worked really well. Not all the content creators took full advantage of it, but those who did really had a good time with it and was very, very helpful. So this is another big opportunity for everyone in the game and the community. This is a big opportunity. That, I know, I'm just, I'm kind of rambling here. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky with these test accounts because well, the big problem is there's characters, you notice I'm not scrolling down right now, that's because there's certain characters on here we're not allowed to show. There's also loading screens within this test account that we cannot show either. That's something I've already talked to with the developers, and they're going to see what they can do about those loading screens, because those loading screens, as you guys know, it's concept art for newer characters. So like, you know, when Solius came out, there was some new loading screens that popped up with concept art for Solius. We've had stuff for Ember already, but pretty much the problem is these loading screens are for characters that are not in the game and have not been announced yet. So... It's kind of a problem. It's going to be very tricky, and I think this is going to be interesting because it's going to be a race to see who accidentally leaks something first. Uh, it's going to be not... It's going to be something like the Darth Revan leak back in the day. You guys may remember if you watched Galaxy of Heroes videos, there was a leak with uh, some Game Changer footage that showed a Triple Zeta Gamorrean Guard with Sith Empire characters, and that was pretty much our first confirmation that Darth Revan was coming. 
And that was just a big screw up with uh, with communication with the content creators and everything. So I'm kind of interested to see who is going to accidentally leak stuff first and what's going to happen as a result. Because there are characters here, and I can't I can't really show chat either. Uh, chat's going to be interesting. I can't do guild chat because there's people gearing up those characters right now, so can't show that either. So this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be crazy, and it's gonna be a matter of seeing what uh, what people do and who who is able to figure out these leaks and everything else. Because it's gonna be kind of annoying having to cut between loading screens. Because all the loading screens that I've seen so far with this account is just these new unannounced characters, and it's kind of a it's kind of an annoyance. And that's why I'm hoping the developers get that fixed and figure out some workaround with it. So, anyways. This is the big news, and also, I know a bunch of you guys have been asking where the heck have I been. It's been like two weeks since I put out any Dragon Champions videos. Fortunately, we had a big project event at work, and that just finished today, which is great because the test accounts just came out today. So it was very opportune for that event to get done today, just in time for these test accounts to do testing with this. More than likely going to be doing some live streams with this. We will see what happens. But this is, uh, yeah, work stuff is, it's calming down now. People are starting to get wrapped up with their holiday rushes and everything. So things are starting to calm down so we'll be able to get back into work making videos. I could just go, go, I just could just go full time like Cubs Van Han has done. We'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so work's, uh, work's calmed back down. So now I'm able to work on videos and there's quite a bit I have to catch you guys up on. Uh, my guild has officially started putting the T7 raid on farm status. So we are clearing that in like, geez, like five hours at most now. We're just running right through the T7 raid. So there's some videos to talk about you guys with that. Um, some teams to talk about. There's a team we're calling the Bloody Revolution for phase one. It's a bleed focused team. There's a team in phase three with Freezar, Nidiel, Patriarch Chi that we use. We've done something like 2.7 million with that team in T6. So there's a video coming on that as well, talking about what characters to really focus on for the T7 raid, helping you guys focus on just what characters you need to do if you're trying to get T7 done. And talk about that, I think actually the t the heroic raid character is actually on here. So I can activate him and also play around with him and show what you guys are going to be getting with him and if he's something worth pushing for with that heroic raid. Because that's the big prize of the T7 raid with Arakar's Madness is that Shadar character. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to cut here. Let me see. Am I going to be able to cut? Yes, okay. No one here that's a surprise, but yeah, Shadar is the heroic or the T7 character that you get from the raid. So we're able to get him leveled up and geared up so we can show what he is going to be worth uh, if he's something that you guys should be focusing on. If he's worth you pushing for T7 farm status with your guild. So that is something else we can show. And yeah, as a whole, this is going to be, uh, this is... This is a big opportunity, and I, I'm really, really excited about this. But, uh, yeah, so there's a lot to catch you guys up on with this game and some videos I've been working on. Some uh, One video I'm calling the top ugly ducklings in the game because they start as terrible characters and become much better on as you level them up. Yeah, there's just a bunch of fun videos that I've got lined up that I just have not finished working on because of work, and I've just been so busy with that. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more Dragon Champion videos coming here very soon. I hope you guys are excited for that. But the big thing I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section is start giving me ideas of what you guys want to see with this test account. This is all about you guys. This is what I want to see what you guys want from this account. See what works, see what doesn't work. Give me ideas on that because I want to know what you guys are looking for because this is for you guys. This is to help you guys out with the game and that's going to be the main focus of this test account. So drop down in the comment sections what you guys are looking for with this account or what you guys want me to try out. That is the point of this account and that's what I'm going to be using this account for. So let me know what you guys are looking for and then we can start building up uh, videos from there get some feedback on what does and doesn't work, and just, you know, have fun with this. Of course, we'll also be doing live streams, which will be fun, because it's going to be a matter of seeing what uh, what we can and cannot cut out with the loading screens and everything. 
that's gonna be that's gonna be hectic. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna put out so many links in that first live stream. We'll see. We'll see how bad it gets. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Just catching you guys up on what's been going on, the test accounts, what to expect with them, and what to expect from my channel with Dragon Champions here in the next couple of weeks. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? What do you guys want to see with this account? As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.